Hey, Greg here. Welcome to part two of my System Coupe series. And on this episode, we're going to talk about Pamela's new workout and Quade Mega Slope. So, Pamela's new workout is a programmable clocked modulation source with eight configurable outputs capable of producing gates, sine, ramp, envelopes, and random voltages. So, each of these outputs can output whatever you want, and it's very easy to use the user interface. Quaid Megaslope is a complex function generator with envelope, loop, and step sequencer modes. So it's very useful for creating envelopes for your VCA, for your synth voice. It's good for sending pitch data, and it's good for making interesting LFOs and modulations. And I'll show you how they work in the context of the system. So what I'm gonna do in this video is go over a couple patches of uses of them as well as explain the user interfaces. Pamela's new workout has a start stop button, uh, an encoder that you can click as a button as well and that's all you need to use all the functions. Uh, if you hit the start stop it starts sending gates. Right now it's reset at default. So you use the wheel to scroll through to each output or back to the BPM. If you want to adjust something, you click once and it will let you adjust. So now I can make my BPM go up or down. And if I want one of my outputs to send the triggers quicker, I click and then now output one is going quicker as I'm adjusting it. And if I want, if I want to uh, click off, I just click once again and we're back to selecting which channel we want to adjust. So when you long press, it brings up many more parameters. You can send pretty much any type of clock CV you can imagine out of the outputs and you can adjust each one individually. And they also can do Euclidean sequencing as well as pitch sequencing as there is a quantizer built in. Next, we've got Quaid Megaslope, which has the mode button here to choose which mode, envelope, a trigger or a gate will send your sequence through the envelope. Loop will loop the sequence based on values on the knobs and step will step forwards one stage at a time based on a trigger input. Okay, so now I'll do some demonstration patches. I won't be showing you everything they can do. Uh, I would highly recommend you watch ALM's videos or DivKid or someone else who goes really in depth, but I'm just gonna show you a little bit what they do in the context of the system. So I'll get a patch going and then I will run through it with you. And now when I press play, it's going to advance the sequencer and the level will control the pitch exactly. and I can adjust the glide. And I can make it a five step sequence if I'd like. The next patch I'm gonna do is I'm going to create a rhythm with Pam's new workout and just play a drum beat out of squid sample. Okay, so yeah, that's what we've got there with uh, Pamela's new workout and Quaid Megaslope. 
the last patch I want to do is I want to patch up a synth voice and we'll uh, sequence that. Okay, so I've got a uh, sequence here where Pamela's new workout is triggering Quaid Mega Slope, which the envelope is being duplicated in the multiple to control the filter cutoff as well as opening and closing the VCA. And we've got Pam sending a randomized quantized pitch sequence to the oscillator MCO. And uh, if we press play, you will hear a little bit of a bass sequence. So you can see Quaid Mega Slope here is the envelope. So yeah, that's the uh, Pamela's new workout and Quaid Mega Slope. It wasn't the most in-depth look, but I hope it gave you a little bit of an idea of what they can do and how they become the heart of running this system. So I would recommend watching videos from other YouTubers like DivKid and ALM's own YouTube channel. Like I said, they're some of the best videos on the ALM channel uh, that dive really deep into their own modules. And it's really great if you don't like to read the manual. So I would check those out. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. The next one is going to be on the Squid Sample. And that one is going to be just on the Squid Sample. So yeah, I hope you enjoy my videos and hopefully see you in the next one. Bye.